arrive at unexpected times, when you're least looking for it, and whether you think you're ready for it or not. And when love found Lee and Steve, it was no different. In the summer of 2012, after graduating from college at Temple University, Lee found herself living and working in New York City. One day as she was walking in the East Village, her path intercepted with someone she had already traveled the world with five years before. It was Steve Wimmer from Semester at Sea. was also working in New York and lived in the same neighborhood just two blocks away. Their conversation was short that day, but Lee says her thoughts about seeing Steve again lingered. A couple weeks later, almost as if the universe was signaling for them to pay attention to this particular one out of eight million, Steve and Lee found themselves together again at the same birthday party of a mutual friend. From that night on, their connection grew. They found themselves wanting to spend all their free time together. Lee says she realized that what was developing between them was love when they brought each other into their families. Steve tends to uh, play his cards pretty close to his vest. Lee kind of oozed out a little bit. My very first memory of her, we hadn't even met her yet. But we picked up Steve in Hellertown at the bus station, and he's texting Lee and smiling. And I, well, what are you doing? I'm texting Lee. Well, what did she say? And she said, did you hug your parents yet? She has shown Steve how to love, and that's the best thing for me. And for most of you here, you know what that feels like, having me love you. When she comes up to you, and she takes your face in her hands, and looks right into your eyes and says, I love you, and you feel love. Her warmth, her kindness, and uh, she certainly has a, a wonderful magnetic personality, and Steve, you did pretty good. ago, Lee had a health scare. Steve was by her side every day supporting her family, listening to the doctors, doing research and giving updates to all the friends. Through it all, in that very sad and scary time, Lee says that Steve still looked at her with loving eyes. She says she knew when she got better that he was in this, and so was she. I know at the end of the day, you know, it's really my dad giving away my sister to you. But a small part of me feels like I'm giving her away to you as well. And I am beyond happy that I'm giving her away to you. If I had to choose someone for you, I would probably choose the same person you do, Steve. And I'm welcoming you to my family as a son. I've been waiting for this moment for, let's see, wow. long time. This is it. Lee. 
You know what? It's so hard to give you up. Since the moment you were born, you were the apple of my eye. July of 1986, each to a baby girl a day apart. Me, July 28th, and Lee, July 29th. It was the beginning of our 26 years of friendship. A friendship, a sisterhood that would play a huge part in shaping both of our lives for the rest of our lives. It's an honor for me to be best man today. Awesome. Believe it or not, Steve and I met purely by chance back in the 80s. We were womb mates. So Steve and I are twins. But Steve is a very special guy. Smart, handsome, humble, strong will. Technically, you are my older brother <laughs> by two minutes. And I look up to you in ways probably don't know. You have led a life on your own terms, constantly seeking new adventures, fun experiences, and developing great friendships along the way. From growing up together in Quakertown, you've gone on to live in London, New York, and Philadelphia, three of the greatest cities in the world, and travel around the globe visiting countries on nearly every continent. And through it all, you've seen done today. Marrying Lee tops the list. Your future will be wonderful. I know that. 